This on your side is still pressing for answers as the Fairfax County Police Department faces a staffing crisis and as violent crime increases in the county. Nick Minock is live for us as the Fairfax County Board of Supervisors is meeting. So Nick, what's happening there right now? Yeah, so they've been meeting since 930 this morning and they're. Is public safety taking a back seat at the Fairfax County Board of Supervisors meeting? Supervisor Pat Harity thinks so. Harity told 7 News public safety is under attack in Fairfax County as violent crime rises and as FCPD faces a staffing crisis, which is forcing existing officers to work longer hours. These shift changes are going to completely upend their lives and we need to be do doing everything we can to fix that. It's not going to be fixed overnight, but we need to start and we haven't even started. After FCPD's police chief and senior staff announced a personnel emergency, the chairman of the board, Jeff McKay, spent Tuesday's board meeting doing photo ops and discussing topics that don't relate to public safety. Over the weekend, McKay sent 7 News a statement saying in part that police officers got an 8% raise on average in this year's budget. But not every officer received an 8% pay bump, and the police unions don't see it as a raise. They see it as money owed to them because they say wages were frozen. Supervisor John Faust says the board needs to give officers more money to prevent them from leaving. You know, the, I think the board mistakenly believed that we, we were solving the problem uh, when we approved the budget this year. Uh, clearly not the case. Uh, there's so much going on in the economy with inflation and just the challenges of being a police officer. Uh, we have to revisit it. And Nick